Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to announce that I have Elizabeth Chambers today on my channel. Thank you so much for coming, of Elizabeth. I would rather be here than anywhere else. I love you so much. We had so much fun getting ready for tonight. Yeah. What I love about Monica, what I love about you, Monica, <laughs> is that we always have fun. No matter what I'm wearing or what vibe we're going for or what the look is, we always create and collaborate. And I love what we did today. I think that's what it's all about. When you, you know, you have a client who you've worked with for so many years. It's like, you know, it's, we have a friendship, but it's also like we know how to collaborate. And, you know, I listen to you, what you would like me to do and vice versa. And it's just like a, it's a fun process together. Okay. So today I just got you ready. You're going out tonight. You're going on a red carpet. And uh, this look, by the way, everyone can do you don't have to go on a red carpet to create this makeup look and I just you know on you I always love to do like a beautiful liner uh, today we decided on like a pinky kind of shimmery eyeshadow lots of lashes beautiful radiant skin and uh, keep on watching and uh, enjoy this video all right, so the first product I'm using on you, Elizabeth, is the Le Serum. Um, I love doing skincare on you, especially before a red carpet event. And I know that you are someone who really takes such amazing care of your skin. And um, you're the queen of skincare. I learned so much from you. So the Le, the Le Serum is amazing because it's really lightweight. And I love it before I do any application of foundation. And I usually apply it and then I let it you know, sit in for a few seconds and then I move on to foundation. So we just applied the serum and I love this product so much. This one here is the Lip Serum by Clé de Peau. It's literally a product I've been using on all my clients and I love it because um, it's not too, like it's not too, um, too heavy on the lips and it just really, really moisturizes your lips and it really plumps them up mm. and it's a great product before lipstick. Next product is, this is our favorite, favorite. isn't it, Elizabeth? <laughs> we both love this so much. It's the Clé de Beau Radiant Fluent Foundation. And I have been using this foundation for so long in my kit. And I know that that's a foundation you love, right? Yes. And I do not feel like my skin is my skin with any other foundation. Yeah, and I, I know I've been on shoots with you where maybe sometimes I've tried to use something else and, you know, you're like, no, 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 no. Take it right this out is, of my purse. <laughs> this, is, this is like, this is your favorite. Mm -hmm. But I also really have grown to really love this foundation so much. And I have this in my professional makeup kit. And it's just like the kind of foundation which I know I can rely on. It just always looks good on everyone. And um, I, it's not too heavy and it's really buildable. That's what I love about this foundation. That I can really apply it in a very thin layer, but if I really need to, and if I need it a little bit, you know, um, heavier, I can build it. I can do it in layers, and I love that it's like really radiant. It looks really good on the red carpet. It's just like a fantastic foundation. And for a concealer, I, you know, as you all know, and I've been using this in my videos and on all my clients, this is the Orker Concealer by Clé de Peau, which I love. And they just came out with this new concealer. Have you seen this one? I love it. It comes in so like good. a pen form and it's a little bit of a lighter formulation. I love this underneath the eyes. It's also great for, you know, when you go out and you throw it in your purse mm -hmm. and you need it for touch-ups. Mm -hmm. And I love this one for like any imperfection you have in your face if you have any breakouts or melasma or you know whatever you want to cover if you have any dark spots um, you have from your pregnancy you told me like a tiny little bit which I don't see I think I'm gonna need a micro you know scope for this but um, if you have any melasma or any any kind of imperfection this is a fantastic concealer to you know to apply this with like a, a little concealer brush and you just go over wherever needed have one of each of those in all of my purses. I could not live without these concealers. Yeah, they're so great. I love them so much. All right, so for the brows, I love this palette here. This is the Anastasia. Um, it's the brow palette, and I always use this on you because I just find sometimes, because you have such great brows already, they're so, like, they're full, and they're re really perfectly groomed. So with, like, a powder, um, it doesn't look as obvious, and it looks more natural. So I just, like, fill them in, and I like to create a little bit more of an arch, and I also like to elongate them. And especially for red carpet, what I like to do afterwards, I always go in with a brow gel. This one here is by Benefit and it's clear and it just makes your brows. It's just like, I love this brush on it. And it just like sets them. 
so you don't have to worry about them at all when you're on the carpet. Okay, so for eye makeup, um, I chose the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I'm so obsessed with this palette. So Look at all these shades and the ones I chose, I'm going to start off with this shade and I'm going to also use this in the crease and then this rose pink kind of like all over. Um, I'm so into like pinky shades mm -hmm. right now. So this uh, tempera uh, shade all over and this is just kind of like a base color. It's really beautiful just to kind of start off like all over your eyelid. I love the pinky shades with a red dress. Yes. Which is what I'm wearing tonight. Oh good, perfect. And I'm applying this dusty rose and I'm going right here in the socket, which how I call it. I hate the word crease, so I always say yeah. socket. I'd rather have a socket than a crease. <laughs> and what you do is basically you're just contouring your eye that way and you're just giving it a little bit more definition. So the next step is I'm applying eyeliner. I love the clay de Peau eyeliner. So what I'm doing with the eyeliner is I'm putting it in the lower waterline. And then I take a thin brush and I just kind of like go in between and I almost bring the eyeliner on her lower lash line as well. And it looks a little bit more, um, you know, smudgy rather than uh, it looking like really perfect. And you look really good with a little bit of shadow on the lower lashes. Thank you. And what kind of brush is this? Just a little eyeliner brush. I love these. These are by Real Techniques. They're super affordable. I buy them on Amazon. They're like $7. I need that. And I know the girls who make those brushes. They're super cute. I love a smudgy lower lid. It just, yeah. It, it brings everything. And on you, you can see now in the camera, it just like, it looks so effortless. It doesn't look like, sometimes it looks too harsh, mm -hmm. but especially with the brush, it just makes it look more uh, diffused and more effortless. And you can use it on the top lid as well? Yeah, it's great. And we also put it, off camera what I did is I really put it in between your lashes and I put it in the waterline on the upper lashes as well. And it just makes it look really rich looking. Okay. Another thing I like to do, I like to bring it really in the inner corner right in here. And that makes a huge difference. Now I'm gonna apply the extra eyeliner. This one here I have in my makeup kit. I use this on my clients. It's just a really reliable product. Again, I love it because I know it doesn't smudge. It stays on all night. And I love this eyeliner because it has two different applications, a thicker one and a thinner one. And this one is really great if you like need to like to like if you need to go in between the lashes or in the inner corner and I like to use the thicker one on the outer corner so I'm going to start right now by applying the eyeliner. I always like to kind of start in the middle of the eye and then I work my way outwards and uh, to, in, in order to create the flick I like for you to look kind of at me straight and then I can see where I want the flick to happen and then you can close again and then what I do is I just like start from the outer corner and then I go inwards and you can really do that step a few times don't start too thick I always like to start thinner and then if I need to like you know correct that I can go in with a q-tip but right now I feel like this is a good shape and then I go inwards and then I turn the brush around or the pencil around and I go with the thinner application in the inner corner open up look this way and then I also like to apply that all the way inwards but make sure that the line is really thin and then gradually make it thicker going outwards. I love that liner. I use that all the time. It's like dummy proof. You're it a makeup is. artist so you know how to do a liquid liner uh -huh. but I'm not and this is almost like a like it's almost like a sharpie. It, is. it makes it so much easier to use. It is right. It is the hardest thing I think. That's what I always hear from like every you know an everyday woman to apply eyeliner is just so hard and especially liquid it's just unforgiving it this is. one is very forgiving it is great open up it's beautiful eyeliner is done what i just really quickly want to show is if you need to um, clean it up a little bit what i like to do is i like to take a q-tip with a little bit of bioderma on the edge and just to like you know really perfect it look straight I like to just pull that q-tip and pull it all the way upwards and then I go in with my foundation brush and that way I can like really make the the flick very kind of sharp and very you know perfect 
I'm totally using this. That's a good little <laughs> trick. After the eyeliner is done, I like to go in with my eyeshadow, the rose pink right here. I think this is so beautiful. Just to kind of like finish up the look. And what I do is I just put it kind of like in the middle of your eye, just to add a little bit of drama right there. So when you open up your eye, it just gives a beautiful sheen and shimmer. So it's really just in the middle, kind of like where your eyeball is. Just put it right there, open up. Drama. Yeah, mm -hmm. just a Easy little drama. bit of drama. <laughs> it's gorgeous. So I just curled your lashes off camera and I'm basically just giving you a few coats of this mascara. And what I love about it is it's really lengthening and thickening at the same time. And it almost like looks like you're wearing fake lashes. I love the brush too, it's so fat. It's perfect. And on the bottom lashes, what I do is I apply it with a brush and I just kind of like paint a little bit of the mascara on. That way you have more control. It's better this way. Do you feel like you should always put mascara on the bottom lashes or does it just depend on the Not look? on everyone, but on you today, I feel like it's just, it adds more drama to your eyes. But you really have to make sure that you brush them out. So for that, I use like my little comb. And now we're gonna go in with the concealer. This here is the new concealer by Clé de Pearl. Have you used this I before? I love it. It's in so every bag. This is yes. in, in a pen form and I'm applying this underneath your eyes and I love it because it's really lightweight and it also has skincare benefits which is amazing and it just really brightens. It gets rid of any under eye circles and I love doing it after I have applied my eye makeup because right now I'm just really cleaning up underneath your eyes and I'm also brightening them. It's almost like a highlighting effect as well. And the application is so easy. It's, I always bring it along for touch-ups. It's great for touch-ups. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this tonight for you as well when you're going on the red carpet. You can just throw it in your purse. It's perfect. All right, so for powder, um, I'm using the Clé de Peau Press Powder. This one I love. I love the packaging. It also is so great for like touch-ups for later. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm just putting it in the T-zone. You really, I want to keep your face really radiant and you know, I don't want it to look too matte. So all I'm doing is I'm really just powdering the areas like underneath where we applied the concealer and I'm putting it a little bit in your T-zone, but the rest can stay really beautiful, luminous and radiant. So for bronzer, I'm using this Hoola product by Benefit. This has been in my makeup kit for years. It's an oldie but goodie, and I know that you love this product. I love, I love it because there's really no shimmer to it, and it's a perfect color. It's not too orangey. It just really looks good on every single skin type and skin color. So I like using a fluffy brush. This one here is by NARS, and I, use, I usually start in the temple, and then, um, especially you're wearing a pony, so I like to really go into the hairline and I go into, uh, into your forehead, just so we create a little bit of dimension and the face doesn't look like all one color. And that really makes a big difference when you're being photographed. Um, and then I go into your cheek area and I usually start right where your ear is and I go all the way in and I stop kind of right right here. If you bring it in too far, it can look kind of muddy. So you really wanna make sure that you kind of stop right in the middle. And I also like to bring it into the jawline and that really makes a huge difference again on the carpet and really gives you a beautiful shape and definition to your face. So we just applied the contour very in a subtle <laughs> way and just to add dimension to your face. And now I'm going in with the Clé de Peau Cream Blusher. And I know that you're not a huge fan of blush. It's one thing I've learned from the years of working with you. But um, I love this one, the number four, because it almost is sort of like the same kind of color than the bronzer. It's not too bright. And what I love with the cream blusher is that it just adds a little bit more of like youthfulness to your skin. And since it's not a powder, it's a cream, just adds a little bit of something to your cheek. And I have to say that the texture of this cream blush is like nothing I've ever used because a lot of them are very heavy. Mm -hmm. This one is just like so gentle and so natural looking and it just adds a little bit of something to your cheek. Can you use it on your lips too? You can use it on your lips. Love. I love it on the lips love as it. well. It's perfect just for like a little, I mean, if you want to do this for during the day and mm -hmm. you just want to do a little bit of something, you can, I love multi-functional products. Too, products. And so this is like a great, like on the go kind of product. 
All right, so we are almost done. The last step is your lips. To add a little bit of definition to your lip, I'm applying a lip pencil. This one here is by Kevin O'Quan. And uh, since I just really want your lips to look super natural, I love a nude on you, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I feel like you look so good with nude lips. And uh, so I'm doing the lip liner first, just to add some, you know, definition and also to give your lip a little bit of a lift and a shape. Not that you need it, but I think everyone can benefit from a little bit of a liner. And then after that, I go in with the lipstick. I chose a Clé de Peau product. This one I love. I love the color of this. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And it's just... And the shape. The shape so is beautiful. great. And see how the shape, it's like really like the or imprint of a lip. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. And uh, I love this color. The texture is wonderful because it's not too matte and it's also not too... Um, it doesn't have too much sheen in it, so it's just like a good in-between. And I think that this color really complements the eye makeup. And I will give you this for later for touch-ups as well. And then press your lips together. And then for the final touch, I'm going to bring in a little bit of this NARS gloss. Have okay. you seen this? I do. I, I love, love this. Gloss. Just for the middle, this one is it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Just to add a little bit more texture in the middle of your lip, just add that right in here. Perfect. Okay, so for the final touch, I'm going to just add a little bit of um, highlighter, which I know you love, mm -hmm. and it's going to look so good on the red carpet. This one here is the RMS, my favorite, and I use, I'm actually going to mix those two colors together. And I'm just adding it a little bit right here on the higher cheekbone. And I use my fingers to blend. And then I go in with a brush just to kind of like perfect it. And if you can like move your face, I mean, you can see it's so beautiful. Should I boomerang? You boomerang. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> and I also like to actually apply that on the bridge of the nose, believe it or not, just to add a little bit more of a highlight. And on your cupix bow. And I do the same thing on the other side. With my fingers, I just have more control and I can like really work it into the skin. And do you use your ring finger? Yes, I do. I don't, yeah. How does everybody, it's, you're always supposed to use it maybe because it's like the perfect amount of pressure. It is. And again, afterwards, I just use my brush to blend it in. Perfect. And that is the final look. And then for um, the red carpet, what I usually do, um, Elizabeth, is I like to give you some products. Yes. And today I'm going to give you, first of all, I didn't show this earlier, but this is the new cushion foundation mm -hmm. by Clé de Peau. And this is like the perfect foundation just for touch-ups because I know you're going to be out for a few hours and you feel like you need a little bit more foundation. Mm -hmm. You're going to have the cushion. Perfect. And I'm also going to give you the perfect amount of powder. Wonderful. So this is the pressed powder. And uh, you can touch up your lips with the lipstick. Love that. What color is that? That is the shade number uh, number two, two silk so scroll. Yes, it's so like good. the perfect nude. And also, if you feel like you need a little bit more for under eye, you have the concealer. Perfect. That's it. Put it all in my clutch and I'll be good to go. Yes. Thank you, Marco. You're welcome.